Today is December 22nd, 2017. Please give your names. Steve and Michelle Bacon, and this is Brady. Uh, Brady's diagnosis. Brady was diagnosed when he was two and a half with autism. So this would be his second stem cell treatment. Mm -hmm. The first treatment was performed when? April of 2017. Um, can you describe his improvements? Um, the first in the first round of stem cells on the after the second infusion, uh, we were putting him to bed that night, and he said spontaneously, without any requests or anything, us prompting or nothing, his first three word sentence. He said, "I want pizza." <laughs> when Brady was diagnosed, Aww. he was or is diagnosed as nonverbal, so that was a complete surprise that he came up with a spontaneous three-word phrase. Mm -hmm. And before that, he'd only been doing like echoing, and a lot of it was um, not understandable to everyone. I mean, we understood because we know him, but um, other people wouldn't have been able to understand. Such as cells, he's become more patient and able to wait for things and not have to quick go and do something. He can stand in a line and wait now. He's more, um, his school reported that he's more tolerant of transitions, like when they're transitioning from a preferred activity to some, like work, like a worksheet or, or school ABA stuff. Activity. Uh, he's <laughs> able to read some sight words now since about cells. 30 yeah he can read words now he wasn't able to do that before um, he can um, it started out just recognizing like from a ooh. array of three pictures and then he would have like apple you. or banana and he'd have a horse and a pencil and a banana and he <laughs> could match the banana the word banana to the picture and you would trade out the words um, and he could correctly identify which word went with which picture. And now all we need is the flashcard of the word. No, no pictures, just like horse or yellow or, and he can identify about 30 words, 30 or 40 mm -hmm. words. Mm -hmm. And he can now read some simple sentences with the sight words in it that he knows. And, and this is all new since his stem cell treatments. Mm -hmm. Yep, a lot more tolerant. Um, eye contact is better. He seeks out peers to play now, whereas he didn't before. Uh, greetings are better, like hi and bye. Um, still working on the eye contact, though. That one's still kind of tough. He can look at you in a mirror, do eye contact in a mirror, but face to face is a little hard still. Okay, anything else you may like to mention? Yeah. Anything else, guys? Pizza. Uh, <laughs> okay, He's that's... His great brother? <laughs> He's what? His great brother. <laughs> more interactive with peers mm -hmm. and family members. He's definitely more interactive with everyone. Okay. And no, um, oh yeah, uh, he used to, it was hard always to get him to come out of his room. He would just want to sit in his room and play on his iPad. And now he actually comes out and he sits with us a lot more nice. and he's a lot more interactive with the family. Mm -hmm. um, we used to have a hard time getting him to stay at the table for dinner and now he stays at the table, no problems. Um, he used to have meltdowns that would last 20 or 30 minutes, now he turns around in like a minute. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so much better. His temperament is a lot better. I mean, he's always been a very good boy, but he get he gets rigid about things, mm -hmm. you know, and if he doesn't have it just that way, it's 20, 30 minute meltdown. All right. Before. Now it's much better. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's it. Thank you very much. Cheese. Bye. Cheese. Cheese. Thank <laughs> you.